Hi, and welcome to the Microbit NB-IoT tutorial. For this tutorial, you're going to need a Microbit and an NB-IoT01. Um, if you don't have that, you can find a link in the description below. Um, we will also be needing some jumper cables for this tutorial and a USB cable to connect it to the computer. Optionally, um, uh, if you have a edge connector, it makes it a lot simpler to connect uh, the devices, uh, the micro bits to the jumper cables. Um, uh, if you should also have some pen and paper ready so we can write down the EMA and the MC number. Uh, all right, let's get it started. So first of all, we'll um, connect the NB-IoT, no, the micro bit to the edge connector. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, all of this uh, you can find in our uh, tutorial page on nbiot.engineering. So I'll be following the NB-IoT uh, micro bit tutorial. Um, so it starts with the prerequisite and has a diagram over the jumper cables. So let's do this. Uh, so we'll connect the red one to the 3.3 volt. We'll, uh, we'll connect the black one to ground. These are very well labeled, by the way. Um, we'll connect the yellow to the RXD. Let's see, RXD is right there. And the orange to TXD. All right, so that's, that looks about right. And let's just uh, compare that looks fairly similar. And on the micro bit side, it's a little bit harder to distinguish between the two, but they're also labeled uh, 3 volts for the 3.3. Ground is labeled 0 volt. Um, let's see, go back to the diagram. Uh, the yellow goes to 0, All right? Yeah, and P1 is orange. Let's do that. Yep. All right. So that's our connected devices. So this is all we need to connect. Uh, well, we need to connect it to a USB uh, cable so that we can power it. So let's just simply do this. All right. So now we have power on the. Uh, on the uh, micro bit. Uh, the next step is to uh, go to the uh, Makeout project that we've already prepared. This project has uh, the NB-IoT library and it has some simple uh, functions. One is it shows a string on your uh, on your um, micro bit. Uh, press A, B. If you press A, it'll show you the MC number. Uh, if you press uh, B, uh, it'll give you the uh, email uh, serial. So, okay, so we'll download this. The download button is hidden down here, so we click download, and then it downloads the, the file. We go to the uh, uh, downloads folder, and flashing the micro bit is quite simple. It's just dragging the file and dropping it into the micro bit. Uh, so that's all that is required. We'll see that the um, flashlight is uh, blinking. And once it's done, it will reboot and it should display a message on the micro bit itself. So press A slash B. Yeah. So if I press B, it'll give me the uh, email serial. You should write this down because we'll be needing that uh, number when we uh, register the device on uh, the MBIoT uh, site that we've made at Exploratory Engineering. So once this is, I've already written it down, um, you should write down yours. Uh, if you press the A button, it'll give you the MC uh, serial. I will only show you the first uh, three digits because uh, you should keep this uh, secret because anyone who has this number can um, 
impersonate your device. All right, so now that we have the, written down these uh, numbers, we'll go to the uh, nbiot.engineering website. We'll sign in with Connect. If you don't have a Connect, connect ID, signing in is the equivalent to signing up. So we'll just do that fairly fast. If I managed to type my password correctly, I did. Okay, so uh, first of all, you need to create a collection. So a uh, collection is just a, uh, like a bunch of devices that you have. Uh, uh, you can have several devices in a collection. So right now we'll add our uh, device on it. So we'll call this con uh, collection, say, uh, Microbit. And once we're here, we can add a device. By clicking there. So let's call this micro one, we'll write the MC number, the email number, and then we'll create the device. What we'll do, we'll um, open the docs in the new tabs. We have uh, access to that. We'll go to the NB IoT Microbit uh, page in the docs thingy, and we'll um, open the mic make code microbit org uh, link in a new tab. Click on that. We'll create a new project. And um, we need to add the NBIOT extension. We do that by clicking on the gear extensions. And we need to input a URL right here. And we'll find that URL on the tutorial, tutorial as well. So copy and paste that so we don't uh, mess that up. Uh, so you'll get this uh, extension, you click on it, and that's essentially downloading that extension. You, If you've succeeded, you will see an NBIoT uh, extension here in the middle. Um, okay, so we'll, we'll click on that. Yeah, so the first thing we'll do is look at once the, once the uh, uh, device has started, we would like to set the pins to the proper positions. So once the device has started, we would like for it to connect RX to P0 and TX to P1. If you recall, that's how the pins were set up uh, when, when we uh, put in the jumper cables. Uh, next, we would like to set the server to this address that we've set up. And that's pretty much it. Now, this is on star, so it'll, this will only happen once. Uh, but we want to do something interesting. So let's say once it has a connection, We'd, we'd love for it to, uh, let's say, uh, show an icon, perhaps. Um, uh, let's say, show an icon. Uh, yeah, the heart is, is totally fine. And also, perhaps, send a, a text message uh, to the back end. Uh, and yeah, let's send hello world. All right, so let's go through this. Once the device has uh, booted up, it will set the pins and connect to the server. And once it has an MBIT connection, it'll show a heart icon on, on the uh, micro bit and send the string hello world to the back end. All right, let's have this and let's just uh, uh, download this and put it into the micro bit. So we click download. If it has downloaded, we go to the uh, downloads folder. As we did earlier, we'll just take the file and drop it into the micro bit. Let's look at the micro bit now. Once it's finished uploading, now we have the heart. And that means it's connected. So let's go and look at the back end. And we received a payload. Uh, now, this is probably base64 encoded. So let's just decode it as a string. And there we go. Hello world. OK, so now we have connection from the NB-IoT device to the back end. Now, this is very interesting, but let's make it a little bit more interactive. Let's go back to the make code uh, project. Uh, so instead of showing an, an icon, um, to, oh, let's make it interactive. So let's do inputs instead. So it's just instead of just when it connects, let's say when you press a button, let's say, for instance, the A button, we would like for it to yeah, still show an icon. Uh, let's make it a um, yeah, small diamond and Let's duplicate this and uh, a 
add another one and do a big icon. And this right here, user has pressed button A. And then a large diamond. Yeah? So let's do this. Just download the hex file again. We'll go to the downloads folder. We know that this is the most recent file, so we'll just drop that in there. So we'll see that the uh, micro bit is blinking. Let's press A. So we saw a small diamond, big diamond, and then the user has pressed button A. So that works. Now, the last thing we're going to do is just combine so that once the device has gotten a connection, it should give us some information, because right now it doesn't. Let's go back to the uh, make, make code uh, project. And let's just add the hard icon right back. Duplicate, drop that in, and then get the heart icon. Yeah, and that's it. So let's download that. And drop that in. So we'll see that it's flashing again. Once we have uploaded the microbit firmware, the device will reboot and it should connect. And once it's connected, we'll see the heart icon as expected. Let's look at the code again. Um, yeah, so on connect, it'll show the icon. Um, and then we have, if you press the button A, it'll show a, a large diamond, send the string, user has pressed button A, and a small diamond. And um, let's go to the back end and see what happens when I press this button. Yeah, you saw the animation, and then the text updated on the uh, page right there. All right, so what did we learn today? Well, first of all, how simple it is to connect a microbit to the MBIoT network, uh, how to get data to the back end, and also make some interactive uh, uh, demo. Now, I, the, the demo that we did, you, you press a button and it sends something to the back end. Uh, we could have uh, just as easily connected a temperature sensor and then just on interval sent the data. You could have a sensor that reacts to a button press, for instance, a doorbell, and then it would tell you that the doorbell has been, uh, button has been pressed, or so on and so forth. So that's it for today, and hope to see you again on the next tutorial.